State of Things, Governor Kevin Stitt kicked off the 2024 legislative session with his annual State of the State speech. The governor highlighted several of his accomplishments over the past year, but also highlighted what he wants done this year. My co-anchor Jonathan Cooper is out of the studio today and live at the Capitol with the full breakdown of it all. Hi, Jonathan. Hey Tatum, uh, good afternoon from the Oklahoma City, uh, Oklahoma State Capitol in Oklahoma City. It was a very busy day here at the Capitol. The governor gave his sixth state of the state speech and he talked about a wide range of issues. He talked about education and tax cuts, a whole lot of stuff. Uh, the governor started his speech today in front of a full chamber of lawmakers and guests talking about hope. He highlighted his wife Sarah Stitt's campaign to spread the science of hope, which the governor says they're using to address challenges in the state. Sid also reinforced his belief in smaller government and fewer regulations. Part of that theme was his call to lower the state income tax, something he has been advocating for but has gotten pushback from the state Senate. Senate leaders chose not to pass income tax cuts last week during a special session because they say it's premature without knowing the full budget. The governor, though, says this session he will, quote, sign any tax cut that comes to his desk. Sid is calling for more charter schools in Oklahoma. He also talked about education today. And near, near the end of his speech, he reinforced his call for clarity in the aftermath of the Supreme Court's McGirt ruling, calling out some tribes specifically for encouraging its members to not pay state taxes. It's a decision that has rocked our state and caused division where previously there was none. But I know there's a path forward. Because of the success we've, we found negotiating compacts with the Apaches, the Chickasaws, the Citizen Potawatomi, and the Wyandotte governments just over the last few weeks. Now, coming up in just a few minutes, I'm going to have reaction from our political insider, Scott Mitchell, about his reaction to today's speech. I'm going to ask him a lot of questions as well. We're going to also get some uh, feedback from the Oklahoma Democratic Party about their reaction to today's speech and also some of the tribal governments. For now, though, I'm going to send it back to Tulsa and back to you in the studio at Tatum Live in Oklahoma City. Jonathan Cooper, Oklahoma's own News on 6.